You prophesy according to your faith. So if this is a portal where prophecy has been established and we have watched God do so many things over the 30 years, this portal is so filled with faith that when you walk in it, in days ahead, something is going to start happening. It's going to be like lightning hitting a part of your body. It's going to be like something stirring in you. And all of a sudden, you're going to hear and remember something and pray something you hadn't even thought about praying. Or you're going to walk in knowing there are certain things that need to happen and you're going to pray it and decree it and while you're doing it, when you walk out, it's already being set in place. Because that's part of the anointing of this place. I mean, just driving down the roads here, remembering, that one week we decreed those things and then seeing the change. That's where we're headed. But it's not without war. Now, so there is a new call of freedom coming to us. We're getting off a lot of church things from the last church season. And we're becoming free again. Well, the word free, one of the words that's linked with free and its meaning is you shake your hands and they're unencumbered so you can prosper in a new way. Stick your hands out and just start shaking them. See, we're, we're getting free, so, and we're being called to freedom, so we can impart freedom. And this is my wife's fa- favorite verse. We must choose to redeem the time, because days are evil. See, that's one of the things, there's another sign that's coming from this current situation in America. All of a sudden, 50 years later, there's this redemption of time that is moving. You can't look at all of how evil things were. You want to look from the redemption of time. How is God going to start redeeming the evil that has happened? And how are we going to step into the time today filled with faith? Now that's the portal we're in right here. And that's one of the things we're going to do before we leave. Now, with that, there's something else. See, you have a path for your future. All of you listening on the web, we all have a path for our future. Sometimes I call it the path of freedom. Sometimes I call it the path of deliverance. But it is a path for our future and Proverbs 4 says it's getting brighter day by day. So if we don't see the breaking of the new day, our path isn't going to be clear. So every day when we get up, we have to see how the sun is shining on our path. S-O-N. Now, with that, you also have a path of prosperity. That's why Gail is doing what he will be doing here. 
This path of prosperity, that's really what Psalms 23 is about. It's not about, oh, God will be with me no matter how awful things are. Jehovah Rohi will show you how to walk through what is necessary in your life so you prosper. See, that's a summary of Psalms 23. Even in Psalms 23, and I know Kurt could teach this uh, elaborately and much better than I, but it's it talks about this Chagog cycle that all of a sudden, once you get in God's cycle of blessing, it doesn't matter if that cycle is taking you through death or whatever it is taking you through, goodness and mercy will follow you. Now look behind you and say, I am so glad you're right behind me. Goodness and mercy. So with this, we have to be free in the war ahead. Now hear hear me when I say this. We have to be free in the war ahead. You don't get bogged in the war ahead. You say, oh my gosh. There is freedom to be imparted into this war. I mean, we pulled out the word when I met with leaders back in 2008 in Ukraine and said, this is what's going to happen and here will be the order of the nations that follow Ukraine. That has nothing to do with finding freedom in the midst of it. See, I'm, I'm not sure we are fully seeing exactly how the prophetic is going to move. And if we can't see it here coming from this portal, it's going to be very difficult to see it anywhere. Because it's got a history. It's got a portal. So we have to see it. 